In this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust valve lash on a Tecumseh overhead valve engine. Uh, it's a 6.5 horsepower and the engine model number is OVRM120. Uh, it's, a, uh, it's important to have the correct valve lash because too much valve lash can reduce volumetric uh, efficiency and too little valve lash can burn the valves and cause valve warpage. Um, also, uh, incorrect valve lash can, can affect the valve timing, so it's important to uh, it's important that the valves be adjusted. First thing I'm going to do is remove this uh, cover to get this out of the way. It's uh, held on by four screws and it's a T20 torque screw. Um, you want to remove, this is your rocker cover, this needs to come off to adjust the valves, to adjust the valve lash. Um, what you want, you want to make sure that this engine is clean so no dirt drops down in here. A um, good way to do that is to, is to wipe it down with a rag and, and use compressed air to blow any dirt that's around the cover. Next thing you want to do is you want to remove the spark plug because you're going to have to rotate the engine. And this will just make it easier. Next thing you want to do is remove this rocker cover. Um, it's held on by T30 torque screws. I always like to alternate on these, these covers. All right, these this is your these are your rockers. Um, this is your exhaust exhaust valve here. This is your intake valve. You want to adjust the 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 valve lash is the adjustment between the valve stem and the rocker. Um, and you want to do this while the engine's cold, and you want to do it at top dead center. That means the piston's at the top of uh, top of its stroke on the compression stroke. And you can do that by um, uh, rotating. You can rotate the blade. And you can see this is my exhaust valve, so if I want to be on my comp compression stroke, I want to look for this intake valve to open on the downstroke. Um, there it goes. So the piston is going down. And then on the compression stroke, both valves will be closed. And I want to find when my piston is at top dead center, so I'm going to insert a Phillips screwdriver in, into the cylinder and feel the piston come up to its top point. And when it gets to the very top, I'm going to stop right there. And that's where I need to be to adjust the valves. You can see both rockers are loose. So I want to adjust the, adjust the clearance at this point between the valve stem and the rocker. On this particular engine, uh, uh, the adjustment for the exhaust valve and the intake valve is four thousandths of an inch. Um, uh, sometimes, sometimes they have different different values for depending on on which valve it is. Um, that's because they use different metals for for the exhaust valve because the exhaust valve runs at a much higher temperature, so you can get different coefficients of uh, expansion for the metal, and they'll give you different values. But on this particular engine, um, it's four thousandths for each valve. Once you get your piston at top to the center on the compression stroke, get yourself a feeler gauge, uh, the correct gauge uh, for, for whatever your the specification is for your engine. On this one it's four thousandths for both the valve uh, intake and exhaust valve. Um, insert the feeler gauge in between the the valve stem and the rocker and you should feel a if it's if it's set correctly you should feel a slight drag which I do on on this uh, intake valve which is just about right. 
Um, however, on the exhaust valve, when I, when I insert this feeler gauge between the valve stem and the rocker, it's, it's, it's really loose, so I need to tighten up. This, this exhaust valve needs to be adjusted, so we'll do that next. What I need to do to change the uh, valve clearance or valve lash on this exhaust valve and also the intake valve if you, if you need to adjust that is there's a lock nut right here. The first thing I need to do is loosen this lock nut. Then if I come around on top of the uh, rocker right here in the middle there's, a, there's another bolt there that's an Allen bolt and that's what, I'll, that's what I'll turn to make the adjustment. But in order to turn that I need to loosen up this lock nut. And in order to do that on this engine, you need, you need a, a crow's foot um, wrench. And this is what a crow's foot wrench looks like. It's because of the way this thing's recessed in here. Anyway, I'll use that to uh, loosen up this lock nut. Okay, now I'm going to loosen up the lock nut with this crow's, crow's foot wrench. Um, once I got that loose, I can turn the... Uh, the Allen wrench and set the valve lash if I could find my feeler gauge. I'm going to insert the feeler gauge in between the valve stem and the rocker. Then I am going to slightly tighten up the this Allen bolt and I'm going to tighten it until I feel a slight pull when I move the feeler gauge in, in and out of the in between the valve stem and the rocker which is about right there. Then once I have that set I am going to hold my uh, my Allen uh, wrench and tighten up this lock nut with the crow's foot to lock it into place. And I'm not going to not going to tighten it too much. The final thing to do is uh, these lock nuts need to be uh, tightened to 120 inch pounds. So I'm going to torque them down with a torque wrench. Which is right there. Then I'm going to recheck my valve lash, which is good. And Final thing to do is you should, you should rotate the engine around and look for, make sure that there's free, there's no binding or anything with a push rod and, and then come back to your original position and recheck the valve lash. That's a little tight. I'm going to just that one. You just want a slight drag between the valve stem and the rocker when you insert and pull out the feeler gauge. And that's right on. Then you want to adjust these lock nuts to 120 inch pounds. After you finish adjusting the uh, valve lash, uh, you want to reinstall your cover. Uh, clean it off. Always uh, replace your gasket. Um, if you pull this gasket off and it leaves little pieces um, still attached to the cover or around this this mating surface on the cylinder head you want to you want to make sure that's clean take that off before you install the new gasket um, these t30 bolts that hold the rocker cover on should be um, tightened to uh, 40 inch pounds 
Um, after you get the cover back on, reinstall your spark plug, reconnect it, and then reinstall that uh, orange piece we took off um, earlier. Uh, I think it's more or less a decorative piece, but um, yeah, reinstall that, and then and then you're done. And um, I hope you found this video helpful, and thank you for watching.